The uh, fake Eiffel Tower up there, Bowie's, Caesar's Palace, got some street music, hello, the Bellagio, and I'm going to try to uh, walk through here, see if I get uh, bothered for having the camera, and then get out on the uh, strip. Las Vegas Boulevard. And just uh, walk down the strip, give a taste of it. All right, where are the uh, stairs? Okay, this is kind of a mall. I was thinking it would be a uh, casino. Maybe I can walk through a casino in the course of this. All right, here we go. And so I'm going to tell you a really quick uh, story while I'm walking along here about how I fooled a casino. So this goes back to uh, 1998. And I had been living in Hawaii on a farm for uh, the previous six months. I came back. I had basically no money, and I went to uh, my friend Eric's. He was living in Fernley, Nevada, and I stayed with him and his uh, wife there for like three or four weeks, and I got a job at the Silverado Casino. All right, this seems maybe not necessary now, not too many people around. In the uh, evening, it will be a lot more crazy. And so my job at this casino was cleaning up the parking lot between uh, the casino and the gas station and managing the gas station pumps as far as like just sweeping up and uh, filling up the uh, paper towels and the uh, the water for the uh, like washing window washing of your car and so it was a 40 hour a week job so this is where there would be the uh, night fountain show no swimming that's too bad looks really nice for a swim just kidding, but uh, anyways, uh, so this job did not involve eight hours of actual work each day, even though I had a shift from like whatever, eight in the morning until five in the evening with a uh, one hour break. So after the uh, first few days or first week or something of walking around trying to do my best to fill the time, but I would just get things done within, you know, 45 minutes or whatever of my first shift. And then I would just be hanging out bored with nothing to do. And so eventually then I just decided to uh, take off. I had a car. I would clock in, do my work, and then take off and drive you know, out into the de desert of uh, Nevada, like go to uh, Pyramid Lake or whatever, go hiking around, go take a swim, come back, clock out, go have lunch, and then come back, clock in, do whatever more work I needed to do, and then take off again and go drive somewhere, come back, do the uh, final bit of work for the day, and then clock out and be done. I would have been happy to have uh, like done more stuff, but there just wasn't enough to do. And so I was getting the job done. And nobody ever noticed. However, at one point, then 
they decided that they had some more work for me, which was counting the money in the casino, in this basement down below the casino, counting the cash that came in from the slot machines. And so they uh, got me doing that for a few hours each day, in which I saw more money than I could imagine knowing what the heck to do with it. Just piles and piles and piles of cash in this room. Maximum security, cameras, supervisors, a whole group of people counting the money. And it was just obscene how much uh, cash there was coming in. So, got a little taste of uh, the money-making machine that is these casinos. As you can see, that is what uh, built this place, you know, all these crazy buildings. Paris. All right, let's uh, see if we can uh, walk through a casino. I'm not sure if this is one right here. Get the uh, mask back on. They don't like cameras in the uh, casinos, but it's a matter of when somebody notices. This might be another mall. No, I see casino. It's nice and dark, so they can't really see. It will be a lot more happening in the evening and at night. All right, let's get out of here. the Cosmopolitan. All right, let's get up uh, here. So today is uh, April 12th, so it is relatively a mild early spring and so not too hot. I'm here in summer and it will be just insane. Over a hundred Probably way over 100 Fahrenheit. And so uh, my car is parked about a mile that way. I am getting out of here. I spent two nights. My hotel was 158 dollars per night including tax that was literally the cheapest thing just like the dirt cheapest thing because i arrived on a saturday night and booked it last minute and it's vegas so all considering that wasn't too, too bad 
and I'm heading west back into California, concluding my epic southwestern road trip from Northern California to Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Moab, Arches, Canyonlands, Castle Valley, Navajo Rocks, Dove Creek, tiny little town, Lowry Pueblo, Native American site, Mesa Verde, ancient Native American ruins, Telluride in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, and then back through Moab and then to Bryce Canyon, absolutely phenomenal national park. Mm. Right. And then Vegas, and yesterday went to the Valley of Fire, about an hour's drive outside of Vegas. Really, really amazing place. There is lots to see outside of Vegas beyond the casinos and the strip and everything. I love the desert and getting out into nature. All right, I think I'll uh, wrap this up here. Not sure where my next uh, video will be coming from, so take it easy, safe travels.